Ethical hacking has been a lucrative career option for many and not without good reason. It's a challenging job that never gets boring, pays well and also brings a greater sense of achievement. Hi folks, my name is Arya and today we are going to discuss what it is like to have a career in ethical hacking. I'm going to be going over the following topics throughout the course of this video. Firstly, we're going to see who is an ethical hacker. Then we're going to be giving a roadmap to how you can become an ethical hacker yourself. Then we're going to discuss the roles and responsibilities of an ethical hacker in the industry. And we're also going to discuss the skills required so that you can get into the ethical hacking industry yourself. After that, we're going to be discussing job trends, companies and the salaries that they provide. OK, so I have a lot to go over, so let's get started. So firstly, let's discuss who is an ethical hacker. Well, ethical hacking, sometimes called as penetration testing, is an act of intruding or penetrating into systems or networks to find out threats, vulnerabilities in those systems, which a malicious attacker may find and exploit, causing loss of data, financial loss, or other major changes. The purpose of ethical hacking is to improve the security of the network or systems by fixing the vulnerabilities found during testing. Ethical hackers may use the same methods and tools used by malicious hackers, but with the permissions of the authorized person for the purpose of improving the security and defending the systems from the attacks by malicious users. Now, an ethical hacker is a skilled professional who has excellent technical knowledge and skills and knows how to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in target systems. He works with the permission of the owner of the systems and an ethical hacker must comply with the rules of the target organization or owner and the law of the land and their aim is to assess the security postures of a target organization. Now, since cybersecurity has emerged as a high growth field of 2017 and possibly of the entire decade, ethical hacking profiles are opening up with even more generous pay. Now, let's talk about the roadmap to become an ethical hacker. How your ethical hacking career begins depends on your current field of work. If you're not in an information technology field, you should definitely try shifting into one. Even though most jobs require you to have a bachelor's degree in computer science or cybersecurity related fields, exceptions are made for people with sound knowledge of operating systems, databases, and networking. Also, it is nigh impossible to directly become an ethical hacker. Most ethical hackers begin their career as tech support engineers who climb their way up by earning certifications like CCNA and CISSP before working towards the ultimate CEH certification. After earning your CEH certification, it is time to market yourself as an ethical hacker. Okay, now let's go over the roles and responsibilities of an ethical hacker. Now, there seems to be a general misconception that a person with an ethical hacking career is only responsible for penetration testing of systems and applications. This is not true, and an ethical hacker is responsible for much more. For example, he is responsible for scanning open and closed ports using reconnaissance tools like Nessus and Nmap. Scanning is a set of procedures for identifying live hosts, ports and services, discovering operating systems and architecture of target systems, identifying vulnerabilities and threats in the network. Network scanning is used to create a profile of the target organization. Secondly, it is the responsibility of an ethical hacker to engage his organization's member in social engineering awareness activities. Social engineering for the purpose of general hacking has proven to be one of the most effective ways over time and knowing how to avoid any form of social manipulation is key to organization security. Thirdly, an ethical hacker also gets to test new patch releases and software updates pertaining to the company's product and peripherals. It is their responsibility to identify any vulnerability that might exist in the patch and notify the appropriate team to fix them. Fourth, ethical hackers are also responsible for building and maintaining effective intrusion prevention systems and intrusion detection systems. They will also try to evade IDS and IPS systems, firewalls and honeypots just to demonstrate how they could be attacked. Intrusion detection is a process of monitoring events occurring in your network and analyzing them for signs of possible incidents, violations or imminent threats towards your security policies. Intrusion prevention, on the other hand, is a process of performing intrusion detection and then stopping the detected incidents. These security measures are available as IPS and IDS systems, which become a part of your network to detect and stop potential attacks. Last but not the least, ethical hackers are responsible for employing strategies like sniffing networks, bypassing and cracking wireless encryption, and hijacking web servers and web applications for testing and security of a system. An ethical hacker strives to replicate the working of a black hat hacker 
by analyzing the defense protocols and social engineering aspects of an organization. His job is to make sure an organization reacts to these situations well enough if they're not already doing so. Okay, so those were the roles and responsibilities of an ethical hacker. Now let's go over the skill sets that you might need to become an ethical hacker yourself. Now a person with an ethical hacking career is expected to be proficient in database handling, networking and operating systems and also have excellent soft skills as they need to communicate problems regarding security to the rest of the organizations. Other than these generalized skill sets, an ethical hacker also has to have a good grasp on the following skills that we're going to discuss now. Now the first skill is network traffic sniffing. Sniffing is the process of monitoring and capturing all the packets through a given network using sniffing tools. It is a form of tapping phone wires and to get to know about the conversation. It is also called wiretapping and applied to the computer networks. Next, ethical hackers should also know how to orchestrate different types of network and database attacks as their main job is to predict black hat hackers and to do this one must be able to think and act like a black hat hacker. Third, ethical hackers have to deal with different kinds of operating systems on a daily basis with Linux being the daily driver. So, it is obvious that an ethical hacker needs to have an in-depth knowledge of the working of operating systems in general. For example, they should know how to look for exploits in buffer vulnerabilities. Next, ethical hackers also have to deal with different kinds of database formats. Whether it be SQL, PostgreSQL, NoSQL, an ethical hacker at least needs to have a general knowledge of their working and architecture. Fifth, an ethical hacker should also be proficient in cryptography and cryptanalysis which is basically the deciphering of ciphertext without knowing the key. This is also the fundamentals of password cracking using different methods like brute force, dictionary attacks, rainbow table attacks, and so on. Now, ethical hackers generally are endowed with the responsibility of network traffic monitoring. Therefore, they must be proficient in intrusion detection and prevention techniques, session hijacking knowledge, and an overall in-depth knowledge of networking in general. Last but not the least, ethical hackers also need to make custom softwares to tackle the use case specific security flaws that might be affecting the company. Now this requires a general knowledge of programming languages so that you can execute the solutions to the problems that you find in the organization. Above that, programming will also help you automate a lot of tasks that would generally take a lot of precious time. Apart from all this, an ethical hacker must be a creative thinker because black hat hackers are constantly coming up with ingenious ways to exploit a system and it is an ethical hacker's job to predict and prevent such breaches. Now let's talk about the job trends that is in ethical hacking industry. Now as I had discussed in the beginning of this video, cybersecurity has emerged as a high growth field of 2017 and possibly of the entire decade. During the five years between 2012 and 2017, listings of cybersecurity jobs increased by a whopping 75% according to the analysis made by Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now this has led to a lot of unfilled positions, so jobs are plenty and they pay well too. Now let's go with the companies that are hiring ethical hackers. Now an ethical hacker finds a job in any company which has an internet facing site or anything to do with the web. These include college institutions like MIT and even private companies ranging from logistic services to data warehousing companies, for example Wipro, Ernst & Young, Infosys and even IBM. Now, apart from these, you can also get a chance to work for the military and top secret intelligence gathering agencies like CIA, Mossad or NSA. Now, coming to the final question, that is how much money does an ethical hacker make? So, a certified ethical hacker makes an average annual income of $88,000 according to payscale.com. Now, the average starting salary for a certified ethical hacker is around $95,000 according to the EC Council Senior Director Stephen Graham. Also, the founder of Nova Security, Eric Gayo, estimates a more or conservative $50,000 to $100,000 per year in the first years of working depending on your employer, experience and education. And those with a few years of experience can pull up to $120,000 and upwards per year, particularly those who work as an independent consultant. Okay guys, so that was all about ethical hacking and a career in ethical hacking. We spoke about how you can become an ethical hacker yourself and the roles and responsibilities and skills of an ethical hacker. Above that, we also discussed how much salary you'll get as an ethical hacker and the different companies that you could work for. So that brings us to the end of this video. And I hope you had fun learning about an ethical hacking career. That's it for today. Goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. 
Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!